Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. Or I am my alter ego, Miss Vanity Scarlet. And I'm being joined by the one and only Miss Aura Gasmet. Hi, everyone. So we're here over at Aura's place, and we're just recording some reactions. And someone that I've had many, many, many requests for over the last couple months, ever since I started reacting to um, Pablo Vitar. Um, you guys have been putting down in the comments, hey, there's another Brazilian singer, Gabriel Henrique, or Henrique, I'm not quite sure. Um, and I've gotten so many different just songs you want me to react to, and I didn't know where to start. So I just typed in his name, and I saw where he's got all of these covers of these major diva ballad kind of songs. And I'm like, oh, it just does my heart good. It makes me feel so good, and it makes me so interested. So I was like, girl, <laughs> pick one. Just pick one because I don't know where to go. So she's she said, you know, Run To You is one of those songs that it's it's got all kinds of stuff. It's got the power belting. It's got the soft head voice. It's got all kinds of vocal dynamics. It's got just such a range of things that you have to go through to make this, to successfully sing the song. And I was like, you know what? Yes. Yeah, it's like vocally just... Destructive. Yes. Like, so if you if you don't have good technique or you're not doing things right, you can mess your voice up really, really bad. <laughs> she was cruel that way. She she making nothing easy for nobody. So we're gonna yeah. dive in and see what Gabriel does with the song. Mess around and break your voice. Get ready. Close your eyes. Get yourself in the zone. Yes. Oh, 
like this. Just, just hang on for a second. Oh. Oh. I wasn't ready. I, I, I thought I was ready. I, I, I was I mean, beginning of the song. I said, you know, I can't wait to get to that, that bridge. I was so ready. I was so ready for it. And then we got there. <sighs> wasn't as ready as I thought I was going to be. I need to change my pants. <laughs> so we, we gonna, we're just going to back it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> we, 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 we're going to dive back in. <sighs> okay, Jesus. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. Oh my god, I have goosebumps all over mm. my body. Girl. This is praise Jesus. Oh, I have to say, that is what my name is about. Orgasmic. That is how you sing a damn song. That, that is, is how you cover a damn song. Lord Jesus, I what it's saying. I was not ready. Mm. For that, like if I was in the studio and we were singing and he came out like, better yet, if we were live, you know, and on a stage and he came out singing like that, I, I would just stop and just let him he's, he's, finish. It, I'd be like, just. It's like that moment in um, when Mar <laughs> Mariah Carey sang with um, Brian McKnight, whatever you call. Yeah. And, um, I think like the last of the chorus or something are coming out of the bridge and you can turn to me and cry always understand that I Like Brian like, McKnight like just she, just she, stopped. Like just, she she went off on a tangent, lost a bit of mind. Yeah. And Brian was just like, okay. Okay. Like I, I guess I'm, I'm here too. I'm just here. You know, you, you, you do your thing, girl. I got you. I, I got these background vocals. Because she killed it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, is this good for you, girl? I know you don't like bad rap, bad, like, bad rap vocals. She just. That's that's how it would be. Like, singing with him, he started going off like that, Gabriel. And you, you, you just sit back. Gabriel. Like, okay, you take this. You take this. That's fine. It's fine. I'll see. I'll see you next time. I'll see you at the rap party. I'm in love. Oh, I'm gonna watch each and every one of your videos. And when I get older, when I get, you know, when I can be an adult, fuck you too. When I become an adult, I want to be you. Lord. And one thing I love about him, because like people have mentioned in the comments, whatever, you know, he's a Brazilian singer and whatnot. I love that when he's singing, I can hear his accent. Yeah. Like certain, certain words, like especially when it got to the part, I need you here, I need you to wipe away my tears. Like when he said tears, like I could clearly hear like his accent on it. And there are a lot of different words throughout the song. I found it so adorable and so endearing. I love hearing that because like there are a lot of singers out there who like, you know, they speak other languages or they come from other cultures mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll sing, you know, in English and they can completely just like get rid of their accent. Like, oh yeah. It just vanishes, which is cool. Right. You know, it helps, you know, some people, you know, understand the words, you know, it's a sense of familiarity, but like there are other singers like who, you know, their accent stays intact and you can, you can hear it in certain things they sing. And I, I love hearing that variety. Like So Young is another one where like you can, I can clearly hear that English is her second language, but I love 
hearing that, it's just something, I don't know, I just love hearing it. So like with Gabriel, I, his accent is just endearing and I just, I love it, I love it. And this, the tone of his voice is just... Yes, oh. like, you know, but, you know, better than the tone of his voice, because we talk about tone a lot, you know, with singers, and, and that's very important. Very important. Very, you can't, very. You can't teach tone. Like, you I'm, can teach people how to, you know, modify their tone a little mm -hmm. bit. You can teach them how to breath support. You can teach them, you know, all different types of techniques. But you can't teach somebody mm -hmm. to have a tone of their voice. Like you can't, right? Like you, you're right. born with a certain tone to your voice. It, it is what it is. Yeah, right. I mean, you can do it or you can't. But I believe everybody can. But I love the no, they can. It's just not gonna... But you know what? Like getting back to Gabriel, I love the fact that better than his tone, I love that he has control. Mm -hmm. Over mm -hmm. his tops, over oh. his highs, oh. over like, his tops. To be able top, to Jesus. Riff yes, and I know you run. Know. Yes, to be able to yes. riff and run and whistle. Oh. I mean, like, let me stop because you know I got hot. Okay, okay. Girl, I need you to calm. Okay, I'm just, see, I'm rhyming. The, 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 the top, hot. Okay, uh, those words don't rhyme, but okay. it's the same thing. It's the same so, thing. Now that let me stop. Totally okay. okay, but anyway, okay. when he went like all the way. Okay, there. listen, Cardi B, you up in here with your W A P R. Okay. Okay. Calm all that stuff. Calm all that stuff down. Okay, <laughs> you need to go check. <laughs> Look, we talking about his vocals. Okay, <laughs> his vocals. His vocals. Ugh. Vocals beautiful. I love the fact that he has so much control. I know this is gonna sting. Oh, I know this is gonna sting a bit. Hey, as a singer, this is productive. I truly believe do what you are best at. And he is good at his highs. Mm -hmm. He is good at controlling his highs. I was not expecting the whistles at all. And I believe like you can go all the way up in the stratosphere, you can go up there, don't do way too much. We talked about this, don't do way too much, but I believe that he did it just perfectly. I believe like you executed that wonderfully. I am shocked that another guy can do something like that because there's not many. See, and this goes hand in hand with what I was saying during my reaction to her cover of uh, Christina Aguilera's 2020 Reflections. Um, like I mentioned, one thing that I love about Aura's voice that I've always loved, that she was one of the first people that I heard who as a man had all of the capability, all the power, all the resonance to be able to sing these big, belty, female songs just like the great female singers Thank you. but has the tone where he's still very clearly a man still has a man's voice but has the range and the power to sing these female songs like these females and gabriel is another one just yes. like that like when he was belting his face off his belt sounded so they just sound so well placed. I didn't, he didn't sound like he was straining. He didn't sound like he was right. reaching for these belts. They just sounded natural. Message to all singers. If you want to hit those high notes, I don't care how high pitch your voice is. I don't care how low pitch your voice is. I'm a dude. Dude. I'm a guess. For real. Anyway. I'm perfect right now. Don't take so much of a deep breath. Don't inhale <gasps> and belt. You'll find yourself losing power. Belt from your diaphragm and you will find yourself being powerful. I don't care how, how high or low. If you wanna hit those high notes, take a deep breath, learn breathing. Because one thing about him is he has mastered it. Breath control. He has that mastered that. Him, Katrina, Regine, mm -hmm. uh, like Celine, Whitney. Carrie Underwood. I mean, ugh. <laughs> breath control. Breath all, control. All breath control. And they don't Sickening. have to be like, <gasps> You know, it's not like that. Um, it's like they take a breath, 
Honestly, I've learned that taking just a little breath, like, and then belting, it's just resting, learning how to breathe, learning how to do that, because then you can hit those notes, and it's not about how high you go, how much you can control it. Mm -hmm. The tone is what matters, because you can sound like, ah! Yeah. And if it doesn't sound all right, it's not gonna sound. And you can do the exact same thing mm -hmm. and make your tone sound wonderful. I don't care how low or high it is. Just make sure it sounds right for you. Exactly, because just because you can hit a note don't mean you doesn't should. Mean you should because the, I can hit all kinds of notes, <laughs> but doesn't mean I'm gonna go out on the stage and let people hear those notes because those notes are for me in my shower. Yeah, you know, just because I can hit them does not mean that y'all need to hear it and you know that that just that goes for everything so it's about what's good for you and your voice and what sounds good Avery. just because you can hit a note that's in a song doesn't mean you should Avery. but gabriel should because how you doing mm. gabriel you did that and like like you we're talking that. about now i don't want to do a duet with you because i don't think that i could <laughs> i don't think i can handle it but i do want you so, like, going back to what we're talking about, just having <laughs> control, control over your voice to be able to not even just hit the whistles, because it's one thing to hit whistle notes. That whistle notes seem to be a dime a dozen these days. Every every good singer and their, and their mama can, you know, flip up into a whistle, it seems like. Yeah. But to have the control to be able to riff and run up in your whistle like that, yeah, like, that is a that's... completely different level of skill. Yeah. It's a completely different skill set. Like Morrison Amon, she is fantastic about that. Mariah Carey. Yes, that's right. That's right. I forgot about her. Yes, it's, you know, there are some of those great singers that they have such amazing technique and control over the voice that when they're up there, they can just go all over the damn place. And it's like, work. You know, what I love about discovering new music is that it's an endless, there are so many, so many, so many great singers out there. And... God bless you. It's like, exciting. Yeah. Like, like, as a performer, as a singer, as a musician, like, it's just exciting to see other amazing people. I mean, I love you people on the radio and stuff like that, but, I mean, he's got it going on. Gabriel's got it going on. I mean, like, that's one thing. Woo, I'm, Gabriel, I, I'm gonna need, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna need your number. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need. Don't give it to her, don't I, give it to her. Listen, I'm gonna just, I just wanna actually say thank you for that. That is something I can appreciate. Mm -hmm. and uh, seriously, no jokes. Like, that is something I can really appreciate. And that's one thing I love I've about having a reaction channel and having so many people from so many different countries who found me and are like, hey, you like this, you might like this. Because I feel like the people who follow me have come to know that I am all about amazing vocalists. I'm all about storytellers. I'm all about amazing songs, lyrics and whatnot, and just amazing vocals. And y'all always send me some amazing, amazing vocalists that I never would have come across had it not been for this channel and people like you. So thank you guys, everyone who requested me to react to Gabriel. You best believe he'll be on the channel some more because Lord Jesus, how you oh, doing? Yeah. How you doing? And he's um, beautiful. Yeah, and I beautiful. love his, I love the way he story tells. Mm -hmm. you know, tell, tells his story. That's, that's an amazing thing. I'm done. I, just, mm -hmm. I need to listen to more. Yes. Yeah, so I need to listen to more. And I'm happy to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to do it. You got a new fan. Yeah, so we just gonna wrap this up now. So we, when we gonna get married? You're not, because you're already married. So like, when is you gonna call? You're not, because he's not. So we just gonna wrap this up because we can babble on for the next 20 minutes and whatnot, y'all don't wanna sit here and watch Well, maybe I don't wanna babble on. I want to. Well, go babble on your own damn time, okay? Mm -hmm. I got other things I need to do. But I wanna babble on. <laughs> well, I got to go to work in the morning, so I'm, I'm gonna need you to chill your babble, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. So I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you're notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like us to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. We'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome if you want to. We're going to have all of Miss Orgasmic's contact information 
information down in the description, so go follow her on social media. She on Facebook. Don't call her whore ass. Call she, me. Don't call her. You'll catch something. Um, she, she's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. Her website. If she's going to have a boutique coming up soon, so I'll have all that information down there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Love you. Here you guys go. A shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for all of your favorite reaction videos. We've got playlists for Morissette Amon, Kelly Clarkson, Katrina Velarde, Tori Kelly, and more, so be sure to check them out.